welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Lisa, also known as La Dolce Lisa, and today's video is super exciting if you couldn't already tell from the description and my thumbnail, but I am doing a dollar store Christmas or holiday haul. So I picked up a bunch of things from the dollar store including ornaments and things to bake with and things to wrap gifts with. I'm excited! Luna's excited! <laughs> We're all so excited about this haul! So I love the dollar store and I'm going to just show you a few things that I picked up that I think could be of use to you guys as well. So I'm actually just going to be starting with the bakeware first and then moving my way over to gifts and then ornaments last. So one of the first things is just this little adorable box. I picked out two of them. This is great if you're going to be, let's say, making homemade baked goods even. Things like chocolate truffles in here or a few little cookies in there and it's great. And these tins are so affordable at $2 each. And these prices are all Canadian prices, by the way. So that's great. So even if you bring cookies over to someone's house, you don't really have to worry about getting your tin back because these were so affordable and they are super cute and they're very handy. So I love these. Next, staying on the topic of tins, I have this cute little cookie jar tin. This was $2.50 and again, you can put cookies in here and things for when you bring over to your relative's house homemade baked goods and at $2.50, again, so affordable if you forget it or if you lose it or if it breaks, I mean, don't worry about it. <laughs> but staying on topic of tins and disposable things, those tins, of course, you can keep using and using, but something even more disposable were these cookie boxes. This came with a two-piece set so you can assemble the box yourself. And if you can see, it looks so cute. When you assemble it, it looks like a little gingerbread sort of house. And at one dollar, this is a true to the dollar store name, this is actually one dollar because most items, of course, we know are more. It's just perfect and so festive and cute. Next, I picked up some festive napkins. They had a whole variety of different types. And of course, everything I'm showing you has a bunch of different sort of Christmas or holiday decorations if you guys would like. These were $1.25 for 16 festive napkins and they were so cute. Even the back has the little penguin and the snowman you can't really see right now. They are great even sometimes when you are baking and you need something to line your paper with. You can throw a few of these down. Or if you're hosting a Christmas party, these are really cute little festive dessert napkins. So $1.25 for $16 I thought was great. Next, with baking, I have these little doilies here. These are, of course, even more perfect than the napkins for throwing down when you have some baked goods, especially some things that can get a bit oily. Like if I were to make my bomboloni donuts, I would definitely put a few of these down first. They're super festive. They have the really pretty Christmas holly decor. So I thought that this was great. And this says 12 pieces for $1.25, so that's a pretty good deal as well. I feel like everything is a good deal, so maybe I shouldn't always say that but these things are just so affordable and so great you really can't go wrong so next staying on a trend with the baking I only have about two more things to show you I'm just gonna show you these at the same time because they're basically the same these are just baking cups and they're the mini size which is really nice because my sister and I like to make a lot of baked goods I usually like to make truffles and these are perfect if you were to also make mini cupcakes or put anything really small or bite-sized in these, and they're so festive and cute. You get 100 of these, so for 125, I think that's great. And they had festive designs. They had a couple more designs as well. We picked out the red snowflakes and the sort of green, white, and red candy cane design as well, and they're just too cute, so I love these for baking. This has a couple of sparkles on it, so don't mind this, but this was just this really cute container. Now this is great, especially for baked goods, but also if you're going to be going over to someone's house for sort of like a potluck, and you're making some more savory items, this is a great tin. And like I said, I mean, if you don't get it back, it's okay, but you can, of course, keep this for years to come. This was $2. And it just has these cute little <laughs> Christmas gingerbread men on it. It's quite a large tin, so you can fit some things inside. If you make something like potato croquets or arancini or anything really that is festive, even some perfect little hors d'oeuvres, this would be wonderful to carry on over with you. So that's great. <laughs> you think it's great too? <laughs> Luna's getting so excited because I have so many things on the couch, so she's just loving her life right now, aren't you, Luna? Next, we're out of the bakeware and we're going to move on to a sort of gift wrap, I guess we can call it. First things first, I'm just gonna get this out of the way. This is not so festive, but tape, you can have enough tape, especially when it comes to wrapping presents. So this was a dollar and this was also a dollar for two, but I really love this one. It's the invisible transparent tape. So when you're wrapping presents, 
This is a must. I just had to mention this. Even though it's not festive, it definitely ties in for Christmas. You really do need this invisible tape. That way your wrapping always looks clean and polished. So pick these up for a dollar for this and a dollar for two of these. You really can't go wrong. Speaking of wrapping presents as well, they also had some really cute gift wrap there, but I just didn't happen to get it because I really have so much gift wrap left over from even last Christmas but that was a good deal as well. However, I feel like I can never have enough of these. These are just basically decorative ribbon, so they're perfect to wrap gifts with. I love to wrap gifts rather than bag them. I just think that they usually look so much cuter. So I did pick up two of these. They were both 125 and they have these nice decorative designs, if you guys can see. Just gold, I feel like golds and whites just really look pretty on any kind of gift wrap, no matter what color you use, reds, blues, greens. It says 2.7 meters by 6.3 centimeters. So there you guys go. <laughs> also, when it comes to wrapping gifts, especially for wrapping gifts at home, I love to pop these little things on them that say to and from. I think that they are so cute for wrapping gifts with. So these were $1.25 and they're eight pieces each. So we actually picked up three of them because you could never have enough of these to and from stickers. They have really cute characters on them. So I thought that was great. Speaking of wrapping, the one thing that of course we don't ever really wrap is bottles of wine or champagne or any alcohol. Really, the bags are just the best and these were such a great deal. I couldn't resist and I feel like I'm always using these bags, especially for this time of year because giving wine or alcohol is just the best gift for Christmas for a lot of family members who you don't really know how to shop for. So that's great. These were two for $1.25 each, so I ended up getting six. So we have a couple gold ones and white ones with pretty stars and snowflakes. This looks like a candy cane, and so does this one, so there you go. <laughs> Next, of course, when you're wrapping gifts, you do occasionally, I feel like more often than not, need gift boxes. I can never find enough big gift boxes, especially if you're buying clothing items for people, so this is great. This comes in a set of two gift boxes for $1.25, and they say joy on the back, and they say season's greetings, so of course, whatever you're celebrating, I mean, this is just great. Happen to pick up three of those because I can't get enough of these gift boxes. They really are priceless around this time of year. So I thought $1.50 for two was actually a really good deal. Sometimes when you're going into stores, they do give you gift boxes, but they even might charge you for them and they're usually not that nice. So at least these are festive and I do find that when you're shopping, especially if you're a last minute shopper, <laughs> they're gone. They don't have any more gift boxes. Do you guys notice that around the holidays? No more. Next, I found this really cute Christmas card set. This says three handcrafted cards. Oh wow, I actually thought this was only two because I saw front to back, but I guess this is three. And this was $1.25 for three cards, which was great. Babe, if you're watching this, you're getting this card for Christmas. <laughs> I just thought it was so cute. It says, if snowflakes were kisses, I would send you a blizzard. And three cards for $1.25. You can't even buy one card for that price anymore these days, so the dollar store is great for cards. Okay, so now, and last but not least, I have a bunch of ornaments to show you. We are actually getting another little tree because it went on sale for $60. It's a little four foot tree and we want to put it in that corner that I'm facing. But I think that it will look so cute and festive around here. We just can't get enough Christmas in this house. So we of course needed some more ornaments and even a star for the top of the tree. So the dollar store to the rescue here. I will show you this star. This is a metal tree top star and it was $2 and that is perfect. This should be a good size for that sort of tree. It's not too big and it's not too small. This is sort of a nice um, light gold color and I thought that this was really pretty and this will look super festive on top of that tree. Next, I have a couple little tiny ornaments. This came in a set of five for $1.25, which was fantastic. They are these really pretty stars and they're super small. I like to mix sizes, some large and some small so that the tree doesn't sort of look the same. It just adds a different dimension to it. So I thought that was a great deal. Five for one. 25 was absolutely amazing. We got a bunch of these, so we picked out four of these, and I already had these from last year, but they were green. They are in the little tree in my room, but I found the gold version, so they're so cute. So I got a couple more for my little tree in my room, and we'll put a couple on this new tree that we're getting here. But these were 125 
for three and these are these gold little candies. I love them and they add such a little whimsical touch to your tree and that was great. So they are 150 and they are just these really pretty Christmas ornaments here. As you can see it is white and silver with little pearls on them and they are super super pretty and they'll look really nice on the tree because it is a frosted tree as well. These are different shapes. This is round and this is almost like a, I guess you would a diamond shape really. So these are super cute, always 150. So there you go. I have to get this away from Luna because she was chewing this. This was 125, but you get two, and these are gold style. And I think that they're so cute. They almost look like, I guess, a teardrop shape, really. And this was just very pretty and very affordable since you get two for 125. Next, my sister picked these up for the little tree in her room. They're really cute. I might even want to take one back from her. No way. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> $1.25 for again two ornaments. I feel like that was sort of the price for most of the ornaments. You get usually one or two. You have this white and gold detailing with little pops of green and red. They are just adorable. So cute little cupcakes for your tree. Next, these two were actually $2. And these are these silver gift boxes. They are so pretty because they have a lot of sparkle and shine to them. So when they catch the light, they will look great. And I just love the shape of them. They're so interesting, these little gift box squares. So we've got a couple of these as well. We're almost done here, guys. Just a couple more ornaments. So next ornament is this little choo-choo train. It was $1.50. <gasps> Luna? That's enough. Luna loves to chew this, so I'm gonna have to show you both. This was a little train, and this was like Santa sleigh. They're sort of like a silvery gold color, so not on that yellow gold, which I actually think is really, really pretty. And these are so fun and playful. They are adorable. Oh, if you can see Luna right now, she's freaking out. She likes these. Her face is like full of sparkles right now. These actually tend to leave sparkles everywhere, so I'm just putting them back in the bag. One of the last few ornaments, they're really big, so they'll go on the tree behind me. Just big pops. I really love big ornaments. We have a couple, but we just decided to get two more this year. And that is these ornaments. Again, that sort of teardrop shape. These were $2.50 each. So the most pricey ornaments, but they're huge. I saw some huge ones at another store and I feel like they were like $12 for just one. And I can't really justify it. So $2.50 is absolutely great for these. They have a lot of shiny details and sparkly details. And of course, all these ornaments are plastic. So if your dog tries to play with your Christmas tree and they fall, they won't break into a million pieces, which is pretty good. Last but not least, Luna really wants to chew these right now. I think she's in like a doggy paradise right now. She's loving all these new things. These are these decorative stems. You can probably already see them in the tree behind me. We bought a couple more for, of course, the big tree because these are too big if you have a little tree. And they just look great. They add such a depth to your tree. So these actually add to the fullness and they add such a nice feel to them. And these ones are, again, that sort of champagne gold color I would describe them as, not quite gold and not quite silver. They really just say decorative stems. And for $3 each, they were a little bit more pricey but you honestly, you have to see them in a tree. They make such a difference. They're gorgeous. We can't get enough of them every year. The dollar store has sort of like similar ones or variations on ones that you got before. And this is a great way of having your tree look super different and super festive. How beautiful is that? You can see how gorgeous it will look popped into a tree. I just love it. <laughs> so guys, that's it. This is my dollar store, a festive Christmassy haul. I, of course, love to shop at the dollar store during this time of year because it is so affordable and they have so many things in just one shop, ranging from decorative items to gift items and, of course, even bakeware, my favorite. So I hope you guys really enjoyed this dollar store haul. And if you did, don't forget to thumbs up and subscribe to my channel. This would make me and Luna super happy. We're just going to say bye for now and we'll see you in the next video. Okay? Bye guys!